हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द नेटवर्क टोकनाइजेशन वीडियो सीरीज इन दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो वी विल बी लुकिंग एट ट्रांजैक्शन प्रोसेसिंग यूजिंग टोकन्स बिफोर वी जंप इनटू द ट्रांजैक्शन फ्लो फॉर एट टोकन्स लेट्स लुक एट हाउ डज अ नॉर्मल चिप कार्ड ट्रांजैक्शन फ्लो वर्क्स एज वी ऑल नो वेन एवर वी यूज अ चिप कार्ड एट अ पॉस टर्मिनल द ट्रांजेक्शन गेट सेंट टू द अक्वायर who further sends it to schemes and further to issuer and issuer is the main party here who takes the decision of the authorization that is issuer takes care of all the cryptogram checks account status checks the card status checks open to buy everything and then sends the decision back to schemes who further would send it to acquirer and then to pos the key thing that i would like to emphasize here is that issuer actually holds all the keys and maintains a separate K KMS system that is a key management system and also a HSM module uh, which is a hardware security module and then whenever a transaction is received it would actually retrieve the EMV card profile of that particular card and then does all the cryptogram checks. This is very important. Uh, the next slide covers why. In case of a tokenization transaction flow, like how a chip card is presented at, at a POS terminal, similarly, there would be a mobile device or a key fob or any NFC based device where the EMV card profile has been issued would be presented at a terminal. In the previous video, we have observed how the EMV card profile gets issued to a mobile device. So this ecosystem of how a transaction flows between an acquirer to a scheme does not change in case of a tokenization based transactions. For this particular video, I have assumed that the scheme here also acts as a TSP, which is true in majority of the cases. Once the scheme receives the transaction, the scheme knows that this is not a normal card transaction. It is a token based transaction, be it based on the card bin range, uh, that is the token bin range, etc. Once the TSP identifies that it's a token based transaction, it actually does the cryptogram validation using the card profile issued to that particular token. So here the scheme is responsible to do all the cryptogram validations using HSM. And once the transaction is uh, good to go to the issuer, that is the cryptogram validation passes, etc or even if it is fail, even if it fails, it sends to the sends to the issuer. So the scheme converts the token number to a PAN number and then embeds the result of the cryptogram validation and then sends it to the issuer. The issuer here does the rest of all validations that is the account status checks, the card status checks, limit checks, etc. and then sends the decision back to schemes. Once the schemes receive the decision, it converts back the PAN number into a token number and then sends it to the acquirer and then to the POS. So here if you observe, there is a very minimal impact to the acquirer ecosystem and schemes does the heavy lifting, that is the TSP does the heavy lifting and then issuer has reduced responsibility in case of a uh, transaction processing where the issuer does not do any cryptogram related validations. That's it. Thank you for watching the video. Do like the video if you learned something new from it and do drop your clarifications or feedback as comments in the video. Thanks again.